In a recent interview, Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org shared an astounding fact about a certain fruit that's a mitochondrial poison, but also why he still recommends it. Now, mitochondria are the little powerhouses of our cells, and they generate most of the chemical energy needed to power the cell's biochemical reactions. This chemical energy they produce is stored in a small molecule called ATP. They create this energy to drive cellular function and basically all of our biological processes. They also act as storage tanks for calcium ions, which are involved in blood clotting and muscle contraction, produce the iron compound needed for red blood cells to transport oxygen, and have been discovered as potentially being the executioners of cells with the ability to trigger cell death. Because mitochondria are so essential to so many cellular processes, when anything goes wrong with them, they could be linked to many diseases, including cancer, Parkinson's, heart disease and diabetes, to name just a few. So why would Dr. Greger suggest we still eat this particular fruit that's a known mitochondrial poison? Well, let's find out. This is describing the mechanism by which barberries are anti-aging foods. So they, they actually... Um, impair our ability to make energy, kind of these mild mitochondrial poisons. And because we don't make energy as well, uh, it ramps up this uh, fuel indicator AMPK, this anti-aging enzyme, um, uh, which is, you know, one of the most important medical biomedical breakthroughs in the last few uh, centuries. So we can activate a low energy sensor by exercising, right? That, that takes energy, depletes our energy, activates AMPK, or... We can eat less food, we can calorically restrict, that activates AMPK, but there are some foods um, uh, that can boost it. And there's and so the AMPK activation uh, compound in barberry works by kind of impairing our ability to create energy, um, thereby kind of offering a calorie restriction mimetic or exercise mimetic, meaning it's kind of a, uh, mimics the effects of exercise or calorie restriction without actually having to walk around hungry all the time. Um, uh, the concern, though, um, and this is largely from laboratory animal studies, is that uh, barbary as a mild mitochondrial poison um, uh, can uh, should not be uh, taken during pregnancy and breastfeeding because of developing uh, infant an embryo, particularly sensitive um, to any kind of uh, uh, toxins. But for everybody else, Barbary should have this beneficial effect of acting as an exercise um, or um, a calorie restriction mimetic. I eat Barbaries every day, if that makes any difference to anybody. Next, we'll look at when Dr. Greger made the surprising statement that humans may actually be frugivores. 